And fresh figures out of mainland China. The National Health Commission has confirmed seven new infections over the last 24 hours, with only one imported case. The six local cases are in Jilin, that's a northeastern province bordering Russia, where virus clusters have appeared in recent weeks. Chinese state media reports Jilin Railway Station, a key transportation hub, will temporarily suspend services. Zealand officials are warning of a huge risk of further spread of COVID-19 in the area. The total number of infections in China now stands at nearly 83,000. The death toll remains unchanged at 4,633. Meanwhile, the possibility of a second wave of infections is keeping the country on edge after it appeared to have brought the coronavirus under control. Wuhan, the former epicenter of the pandemic, has seen six new coronavirus cases for the first time since its 76-day lockdown was lifted, and that has prompted fears of a resurgence. In an ambitious plan, officials in Wuhan have now been ordered to test its entire population of 11 million people within 10 days after a new cluster was identified. The new infections were reported from a residential compound on May the 10th and May the 11th. State media reports reveal all districts in the city have to submit a plan laying out how testing can be carried out within the stipulated time frame. Our Beijing correspondent Olivia Xiong tells us more. So Wuhan has come out of that strict lockdown for over a month now, and now we are hearing reports that uh, testing is to be conducted on all living in Wuhan, and that's about 11 million people. And the reason for this is because over the weekend, we heard of a new cluster of cases in the city, the first being reported since uh, after this lockdown was lifted. We had heard of five locally transmitted cases being reported. Uh, these individuals were said to have been asymptomatic, but later tested and confirmed to have symptoms and then classified as confirmed cases by China and they all had lived in the same residential compound. And so that is why uh, we are now hearing reports that Wuhan authorities have told uh, district officials to come up with a detailed plan for testing of all residents in under their purview uh, in 10 days. And that really is an ambitious plan, but it does show that there is concern of a resurgence of the virus. And this testing is said to be focused on older and more densely populated residential compounds, as well as those places with a concentration of migrant populations. Now, experts say that, you know, the testing will help to prevent a resurgence of the virus, but this will also be a very costly move. Uh, Wuhan has, you know, expanded the scale of its testing since April, but there really is concern in China. The health authorities in China have said that uh, in the last two weeks, seven provinces in China have reported new cases. We are also hearing today seven new cases reported in China, six of them locally transmitted and in Zilin province, where a city there has since been placed under lockdown over the weekend. So concern certainly very real still in China.